Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. Today we will deep dive into one of William Shakespeare's most enigmatic and intriguing plays, The Tempest. This play was first performed in 1611 and has been a popular favorite among audiences ever since. In this video, we'll explore the play's themes, characters, and plot to help you better understand this classic work of literature. The Tempest follows the story of Prospero, the rightful Duke of Milan, who has been exiled to a remote island along with his daughter, Miranda. On the island, Prospero has learned to control the spirits and forces of nature, including the powerful spirit Ariel and the brutish Caliban. Prospero uses his magical powers to conjure up a storm, which causes a ship carrying his enemies to crash onto the island. With the help of Ariel, Prospero manipulates his enemies and sets in motion a series of events that lead to his eventual reconciliation with them. One of the main themes of the Tempest is the idea of forgiveness and redemption. Prospero forgives his enemies, who had wronged him in the past, and worked towards reconciliation. Another important theme is the nature of power and control, as Prospero struggles with his desire for revenge and his ultimate desire to forgive. In addition to Prospero, the Tempest features several other memorable characters, including Miranda, Prospero's daughter, who is pure-hearted and innocent, and Caliban, the island's native inhabitant, who is brutish and enslaved by Prospero. Ferdinand, the Prince of Naples, falls in love with Miranda and plays a pivotal role in the play's resolution. Antonio and Sebastian are Prospero's enemies and attempt to overthrow him. One of the key themes in the play is the concept of colonialism and the power dynamics that come with it. The character of Caliban, whom Prospero enslaves, can be seen as representative of the indigenous people whom European colonizers subjugated during Shakespeare's time. Caliban struggled for freedom and his resentment towards Prospero's control can be interpreted as a commentary on the injustices of colonialism. Another important theme in the play is the idea of illusion versus reality. Prospero's magical abilities allow him to create illusions that manipulate the actions of his enemies, and he ultimately uses these illusions to bring about a resolution based on forgiveness and reconciliation. Again, this theme highlights that our perceptions and beliefs can shape and control reality. In terms of characters, Ariel is a fascinating figure who represents the power of language and the ability to shape reality through words. Ariel's obedience to Prospero is not based on physical force, but on the strength of speech and persuasion. Ariel's character also highlights the importance of empathy and compassion, as he feels sympathy for those he has been tasked with punishing and ultimately works towards their redemption. Finally, the play's resolution is notable for its emphasis on forgiveness and reconciliation. Prospero's decision to forgive his enemies and work towards reconciliation is a powerful message about letting go of grudges and embracing compassion and forgiveness. This theme resonates powerfully with audiences today and is one of the reasons why The Tempest remains a popular and enduring work of literature. Here are some more interesting facts about this play. 1. The Tempest is believed to be Shakespeare's last play, written in 1611, and is often seen as a farewell to the stage. 2. The play was first performed before King James I at Whitehall Palace in London. 3. Shakespeare drew inspiration for the play from various sources, including the story of a shipwreck in Bermuda and the works of Italian playwrights such as Giovanni Battista Giraldi and Ludovico Ariosto. 4. The character of Prospero is widely believed to represent Shakespeare himself, as the surface is a magician who has the power to control language and create illusions. 5. The Tempest is one of Shakespeare's most experimental plays, blending elements of mask, comedy, and tragedy. 6. The play's famous O Brave New World speech, spoken by Miranda upon seeing other humans for the first time, has become a popular cultural reference, appearing in works such as Aldous Huxley's Brave New World and David Bowie's Song O. You Pretty Things. 7. The Tempest has been adapted into numerous films, 
plays and operas, including a 2010 film directed by Julie Taymor and starring Helen Mirren as Prospero. 8. The play's title, The Tempest, refers to the literal storm that Prospero creates and the emotional turmoil and transformation the characters undergo throughout the play. 9. The Tempest was not immediately popular with audiences and critics upon its initial performance, but has since become recognized as one of Shakespeare's greatest works. 10. Despite its complex themes and experimental structure, The Tempest remains a famous play among audiences today and is often studied and performed in schools and theaters worldwide. Overall, The Tempest is a rich, multi-layered play that rewards close analysis and interpretation. Its themes of colonialism, illusion versus reality, and forgiveness and reconciliation are just a few of the many fascinating aspects of this classic work of literature. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, stay curious.